one. Today we are going to do the impact test. The main aim of impact test is to find the definite of the material in terms of energy of the material. It is also used for the calibration method. Impact test is of two types: iso impact test and sharp impact test. In iso impact test, the specimen uses of a length 7.5 cm and a V notch placed at one by third of its length. It is held at cantilever position and the notch will be facing the pendulum. In sharp impact test, the specimen used is of 5.5 cm length and a central notch is used. The notch will be facing away from the pendulum and it is kept at a simply supported position. The pendulum in iso impact test will be at an angle 85 degree initially and in sharp impact test the pendulum will be at an angle 135 degree. Uh, to find the energy absorbed by the specimen, consider the specimen held at the vise and the pendulum initially at an angle theta 1 with vertical. After impact with the specimen, the pendulum will be at an angle theta 2 finally. Let the length of the pendulum be L and the initial height be H1 and final height be H2. Then the initial potential energy of the pendulum E1 is equal to the height into V, WH1 and the final potential energy of the pendulum E2 is equal to V into H2 where H2 is the final height. From the figure we can see that H1 is equal to L minus L cos theta 1 and H2 is equal to L minus L cos theta 2. From this we can we know that E1 is equal to WL into cos 1 minus cos theta 1 and E2 is equal to WL into 1 minus cos theta 2. The energy absorbed by the specimen E is given by subtracting the final energy, potential energy of the pendulum from the initial potential, potential energy of the pendulum E1 minus E2 which is equal to WL into cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1. For iso isode impact test, we know that theta 1 is equal to 85 degree and the maximum energy that can be absorbed by the specimen is 164 joules and this maximum energy is absorbed when the final angle theta 2 is 0 degree. So we know that WL into cos 0 minus cos 85 degree is 164. From this WL can be found. This WL is substituted in the initial uh, equation for finding the energy absorbed by the specimen. And from, the, from that equation the various energy absorbed for different angles theta 2 can be found. These angles can be calculated and calibration curve can be drawn. We know that when theta 2 is 0, the maximum energy is absorbed, that is 164 joules. And when theta 2 is equal to 85 degree, the minimum energy, 0 joules, is absorbed by the specimen. The machine that is used for impact testing is this. And the specimen that in which the pendulum is strike will be held at the vise. This screw is used to adjust the position of the specimen. And this is the pendulum which will strike the specimen. The pendulum will be kept initially at an angle 85 degree and will be let loose. This is the dial in which the final angle will be seen, can be seen. For Charpy impact test, we can see that the maximum energy is 300 joules which can be absorbed by the specimen. And in ISO impact test, 164 joules is the maximum energy that can be absorbed. When after the pendulum strikes the specimen, the angle, final angle of the pendulum will be shown in this dial for where the angle will be calculated from here. The specimen we can see that the specimen is being placed at the vise in cantilever position and the V notch 
is facing the pendulum. During the experiment, special care has to be taken so that the pendulum does not harm us as the velocity in which the pendulum will strike is very large and if in contact with human body, it can cause damage. The pendulum is initially kept at a safe position in a platform and during the experiment, the pendulum will be for ISO impactors, the pendulum will be kept at a position of 85 degrees. You can see the pendulum being kept at an angle of 85 degrees. Now, the pendulum is After the pendulum strikes the specimen, the corresponding impact value can be found from the dial. Uh, here we can see that the impact value is 25 joules, 25, and the value is taken from zero. And in this way, we can also conduct the Charpy test, but the pendulum has to be kept at an angle 135 degree, and the specimen use is different.